Hey guys, Andrea Lascano with Mobile Trainer in Wichita, Kansas. Um, I was going to show you one of my favorite shoulder combination exercises. You have three deltoid muscles in your, in your shoulder, the anterior, posterior, and medial, so front, back, middle. Um, to hit all of them effectively, you have to use different angles. Uh, you can use a lot of different exercises. I'm using some really light dumbbells to show you these examples. So this is going to be a rear delt fly. Um, just a regular fly, or a lateral raise, pardon me, lateral raise, and then a front delt raise. So um, I will show you those three, and that will effectively hit every head of your, of your uh, deltoid. So it's not the only exercises. I'm not saying that one does only one muscle group, but I'm saying to focus on that, um, that part of the muscle. Do it from the, these angles. All right, so... I'm going to do it sitting on a bench because you can do it sitting or standing, but today just for demonstration purposes, sitting. Anything that you want to add a little intensity to or work on your core, stand up. Abs in tight, belly button in tight towards your spine. You even do that when you're sitting. Um, it makes your core, core work a little bit harder and allows you to get a little core work in without having to actually do um, specific things concentrated to that area. So I'm going to grab some five pound dumbbells. Start out light, it's a small muscle. You don't really have to have a lot of weight. So, rear delt fly, lean forward, and actually from the side. Shoulders back, chest up, lean forward, and you would pull it straight to the side. Pinky side kind of goes up a little bit. Elbow is higher than your hand. But from the front, Leaning forward, one, two, three, four. Try to make sure you're working in that area. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You should feel it in the back of your shoulder, and you should, um, even if it's not developed right now, eventually you'll feel that little muscle flexing. I can feel it at this moment as I come up. So elbow is high enough. You don't want to let it droop down. Keep your elbow high in line with your hand. And uh, that's the first one. Second one, just a straight up lateral raise. So sitting, you're just gonna lift straight to the side. So all you're doing is changing the angle. So from forward to the side. From the side, this is what it looks like. The so forward to the side. Again, elbow stays high in line with your hand. And here we go. Five pound weights. I like to do three to four sets of these, 15 to 20 reps, 30 if I'm really feeling it. So I'm sitting up more straight. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and then there's also frontal raises frontal raises is just sitting up straight chest up shoulders down and back and up to the front so down up to the front and all these you can do with as much or as little weight as you want like i said i can still feel this at five pounds when i started lifting this is when i was already a runner which runners have a weak upper body I was using the lightest dumbbell that I could find in the gym, and I think that might have been three pounds at that time. Um, so it takes a while if you have no upper body strength. So sit up, shoulders down and back, chest up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. You can go a little higher, top of your head if you want. Nice and slow. When you slow something down, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, a um, little more intense on the muscle. Do it. Um, fewer reps. <laughs> um, again, this is Andrea Lascano with Mobile Trainer in Wichita, Kansas. Andrea I L A Z C A N O at gmail.com. Um, email me if you have some questions. If you want me to train you, whatever. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.